Morning. This is Arnie Waters here, Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, Chinese Premier Wen's commentary the other day that his country is going to uh, be going through some difficult times is uh, a frank statement and one that bears close watching. By that I mean uh, expect the Chinese economy to be substantially weaker for a sp much longer period of time. Uh, this is due primarily to their own internal mess-ups, but also to the substantial weakening of their export market. Uh, one of the things that some people tend to overlook is that when you speak about the U.S. economy and the European economy, they're tremendous consumers, even if the U.S. is a much bigger consumer. And when that consumption stops, that affects everybody around the world who's a big exporter, like the Chinese. Uh, this is one of the fundamental reasons why it's so important to get some kind of uh, jobs program going, uh, whether privately sponsored or publicly sponsored, to get people back to work, because otherwise uh, the worldwide uh, recession is going to continue for a much longer period of time. Now, secondly, as we spoke of yesterday, uh, it turns out the numbers that came out uh, for India indicate that India's were, Indians were net sellers of gold rather than buyers of gold. And so what this means is, uh, in my opinion, it's not likely that we're going to see a big demand push for the gold price later this month. Uh, the same situation uh, as uh, this contraction in Asia has also affected buying in Singapore and Hong Kong in a big way. In addition, it appears the Saudis, who are major gold buyers, as you know, uh, are uh, more preoccupied with uh, building internal palaces and uh, buying up luxury real estate around the world, uh, feeling that uh, luxury real estate is irreplaceable. And uh, this is a, a direct result of uh, the Saudis, like the Chinese, wanting to have bolt holes available in the event of uh, severe political disruptions. So we see gold trading about in the same range that it's been in. Uh, we expect gold to stay in this range for a little while. We expect, uh, we encourage rather, our uh, gold investor clients to hold on to their positions uh, because we expect uh, gold to have a substantial up move coming as more European difficulties arise, which is certain to occur in the next 60 to 90 days. In addition, we wish to remind our clients that gold is a commodity. Gold prices primarily reflect supply and demand. Supply for gold is decreasing and not expected to increase anytime soon. And even if demand is flat to a slight increase, that means the price is going to go up. So keep that in mind as you watch the frenetic uh, pass you by uh, as they attempt to day trade a difficult market. So this is Arnie Waters. Aim for the ice flows, not the open water. Have a great day.